Okay, so in this video, we're gonna give you a bit more of an update on my injury and how it's going, and you'll get to follow me along on a day where I go and have my next MRI scan, and at the end of the video, we will tell you a bit of an update on the results and what that means for my injury, and hopefully how we can move forward. big day. Today I'm going for my checkup MRI to see how much healing has taken place in my hip, hopefully a lot. We'll never really know until we see the MRI. I feel good, I haven't had pain for like four or five weeks now. Hopefully that's a good sign. Um, but before I go to the MRI, I'm going for a massage with my physio Michael. Um, just to keep everything loose. It's not going to help the MRI in any way, but obviously I want to keep everything lo loose. I've been on crutches for more than four weeks now, so my body is working in weird ways to use crutches. When I do start reintroducing training, it's a really smooth transition back into training. I don't want any other niggles or injuries, so he's helping with that. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to see Michael first, and then we're going to head into London on the train, um, the clinic where I get the MRI is near Bank Station, so we're going to head into Bank. That was crutches. one of my crutches on the floor. <laughs> so at the moment a lot of stuff is up in the air about what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks because obviously if the scan isn't great I've got to continue not really doing anything. If the scan's looking good then maybe we can start to introduce some form of exercise again. Um, yeah, so everything's a bit up in the air until we get these results, so hence why I'm feeling quite nervous because I just really want it to be mending and at this point everyone's quite confident that it will be mending um, and if it isn't then there's quite a big question mark as to why I'm not healing so hopefully everyone is quite confident that it will be on the mend but like I said you never know so fingers crossed it's going to be a good day I do feel good I feel positive but Hopefully that counts for something. <laughs> but first I'm gonna have some pain in the massage, so that's where we're going now. Hello. One at a time, please. One at a time. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. On brand with the Essex show. Oh. <laughs> wow. So they must be good. I mean, if I'm getting near, anywhere near 15 minutes of 5k, at least I'm super happy. Just, yeah. Actually, just running would be happy. Well, <laughs> that's the next one. Let's not get carried away now. <laughs> something that's been really typical part of this injury is having really regular soft tissue massage with my physio Michael. He's been keeping everything super supple, just keeping an eye on things as being on crutches has meant that upper body tightens up in different ways. I've been loading my right leg a lot more to support my left leg so we've been tightening up in different ways and obviously I just started to bring back some more upper body work in the gym so things are working in different ways but not how they normally would in my triathlon training so Michael's been keeping me nice and loose so we went to see him first of all to start the day. I want to have high hopes but I don't want to get my hopes up and then they're being crushed so. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't want that going on, no. So, obviously, like, at the weekend, walking around the house, I wouldn't know there's anything wrong with me. So it's like, come on, that is, does that count for anything? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, but it means the inflammation is down. Yeah. That's the important bit as well, yeah. Yeah. The consultation, do they literally like, 
What do they start with? They ask me how I am, what I've been doing, like, and they write down everything I've been doing mm. before we see the image. Because maybe if I saw the image and it was good or bad, then I might change my story <laughs> yeah, 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 of yeah. what I've been doing to reflect the image. So they ask you all of that first, so they get an honest answer of what you've been doing. And then they show you the scan and say, right, okay, well, this is what we're dealing with. And that's the moment you feel sick because you're waiting yeah. for the picture to come up. Like, what? what is it? There you go. Happy days. Now, all we need is a good MRI. Come on, MRI. Do us all a favor. <laughs> Oh, perfect. See ya. Thank you. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed and everything. Yeah. Cheers. And then we got the train into London. We headed to Bank. I haven't quite mastered the stairs. <laughs> had allowed time to do a little bit of a shoot for my launch with Signing with ASIC. So as part of that launch campaign, we thought Bank would be an amazing location to get some shots in the city with the new ASICS kit in their kind of green themed kit, which was actually quite fun. You've probably seen some of them images on my social media now. You obviously get a bit of a behind the scenes look of how we did that shoot around a busy uh, area of London and me obviously hobbling around on crutches, but not having those in the images of course uh, we felt like I looked more of an athlete without my crutches but they're still obviously being used to help me get around just going for a little little carbon run <laughs> first time lacing up in a while <laughs> so <laughs> we're in bank my clinic where I had the MRI is down there and clearly I'm not going for a run <laughs> but we are going to do some shots in the new ASICS kit without running. Oh, to no running yet. We're a long way off running in carbon trees again. Michael's done this. T-shirt fit this morning. Now had a massage, you've got wider shoulders. <laughs> got an issue. I wanna build a house so high on the east side of town. I wanna see the sun shining on my face every morning. As you call me, I need nobody. Yeah, I got a Cadillac on the way and screaming my name. You did. I got my homies up in the crib and we smoking for days without you here. I need nobody. Is this the best thing we've ever seen? I ain't even staying here long. I got a beach house waiting on the other side of Rome. I'm taking flights to see. After we did the shoot, we headed to a little veggie prep. So it's actually uh, a prep, but their whole menu is veggie, so they don't have any meat in there, which I've been going to most times. I've been going to this clinic. Yeah. I got a Cadillac on the way and screaming my name, yeah, better than you did. I got my homies up in the crib and we're smoking for days without you here. I need nobody. I need nobody. Yeah, so this clinic was actually recommended to me through Red Bull. They had one of their really good contacts there, one of the specialists in the hip area and the injury that I'm going through and also 
The team works with some top sports clubs in the country as well, so they are very experienced. It makes sense to always do MRIs on the same machines every single time, so the images can be comparable, basically. There's no point using different machines every time because you could get a different image. So we've been using the same clinic every time for these scans just to be consistent. And yeah, they've been really good and thorough with me as well, which is the main thing, doing like blood tests as well and just making sure there's nothing untoward going on that might be why this injury happens. We can confirm that there's nothing kind of medically wrong with me. I'm really, really healthy, which is great news. So yeah, that was the next thing on our day was to go to the clinic. So going into the MRI scan, there's always some nerves because like I said before, sometimes the body does weird things like you might not have any pain anymore but you might still have a pretty bad injury like the body can kind of adapt to pain in a weird way so I was still nervous that the MRI could come back with a bad result even though I've been relatively pain free for a while now so I didn't want to get my hopes up too much like I was prepared for disappointment. We've been at the lowest point, how could it possibly get worse? I mean it always can so I didn't want to jinx it but yeah I went into the MRI with a small amount of confidence because I felt like I've listened to all of the expert advice. I haven't done anything silly. I've really focused on rest and recovery. So yeah, there was a confidence, but a very quiet confidence because I didn't want to get my hopes up and then be told, yeah, it's another four or five weeks of doing nothing. Yay! <laughs> oh, I nearly fell asleep in there. <laughs> One of the worst parts about the process with your MRI is it's not usual that you get your MRI and then you go straight in to see the specialist. There has to be time for the radiologist to look at the images. Then the images get sent to the specialist with a kind of report from the radiologist and then the specialist can interpret the images as well. So there's a lot of people that have to look at it. There's a chain of events that need to happen. And then finally, at the end of the day, which I'm quite lucky that's still quite fast to get the results at the end of the day, to sit down, have a consultation with the specialist and all the people I've been working Working with from the team at Red Bull, my physio, my coach, have us all on a call and discuss the results of the MRI and what we are to do next. So I had a few hours of eager anticipation to know am I mending, am I still broken, what is the situation? So after the MRI we had done all of the ASIC shoot beforehand so we pretty much headed home to kind of make use of the time so I wasn't just sat pondering what the results were going to be. We actually headed to a car wash. So, MRI done. I don't really have any much more to say than that apart from laid in the MRI for 20-30 minutes. Got my hip scanned and we have to just wait and see what the results are. We've got about four hours to wait until I get the results on a Zoom consultation with all the experts that I've been working with and obviously, fingers crossed it's good news, but all we can do now is wait. Done my bit, laid as still as possible on the MRI. And that's that. <laughs> now at the car wash. <laughs> Woo -hoo, no more food on my wind Then headed home and then pretty much was just eagerly awaiting my fate, I guess as it were. Hello, have you been good? Have you been good? Have you been good? Why are you tired? Oh my god. Well, guess what this is? Here she is. Coming to a pool near you. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I need to get up the photo. Steph, who used to work at Wits Up, took of me in Kona the first year I was there while sharing a lane with the local aqua jogger. Well, here I am, aqua jogger. Be doing hopefully very soon. 
So pretty much the Zoom call, like I said, all the specialists were on the call that I've been working with to keep my entire team informed of the process of this injury. Whilst we're not sat here saying it's amazing news, anything that is progress is good news. So the injury is progressing in the right way. We're starting to see improvements. It doesn't mean I can go and run tomorrow. It doesn't mean I can go and run anytime soon, but there's a positive in that it is improving. So the fact that it is improving shows it will improve. I think if we'd got to this point, four weeks of doing absolutely nothing, resting my body, if there was no improvement, then there would probably be something wrong with me because it's almost not possible for it to not mend. And given all of the blood testing that we've done before, we knew there was nothing wrong with me. All my blood levels were good. All of my different vitamin levels were perfect. In fact, they, some of them were exceptional. So we knew that my body had every single recipe to mend. It just was gonna take time. And ultimately, after this MRI, we've still got to give it time, but it's going in the right direction. The good news now is I can start to bring in some more training. So I have the green light to do upper body work in the gym. I have the green light to swim super easy. In a little bit of time, I may even have the green light to start doing things like aqua jogging and actually doing some lower limb gym work as well, but we're not quite there yet. And I think all of those things I'm gonna need to do with some supervision as well, just so that I don't do things in the wrong way and do more harm than good. So on the whole, there's still frustration because it's not like, yet yeah, tomorrow you can go and be a full swim, bike, run triathlete but at the same time, any progress is positive news. So I'm definitely happy that I'm mending and everything's going in the right direction. So also on this call, I obviously had the Red Bull team that I've been working with, and one of their main pieces of advice to me was that I should potentially go and head out to Austria to use their performance center and really start that rehab journey. And all the time that I'm there, I would be under supervision while starting to bring in some strengthening work. So I think that is probably something that I'm definitely gonna take them up on and do. It just makes complete sense and hopefully will fast track my recovery as well. So. Watch this space, I may be heading out to Austria sometime soon. As always, we like to keep things positive on this channel, even when we're going through tough times. So I've decided to do a bit of a giveaway as part of this video, and I'm currently on the front cover of the West Essex magazine, which is a local magazine to where I live. I've got two signed copies here. If you would like to win one of these, then I want to keep it super positive. So. If you've ever had a setback in your life, it doesn't have to be sport related. I wanna hear about your comeback story and how you overcome a difficult time in your life. So comment that below. I think it's gonna be a super inspiring and positive way to keep all of us upbeat. And we're gonna pick two winners to get a signed copy of this magazine. So make sure to enter that. As always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed a bit of an update. Stay tuned for further updates on this injury and hopefully I'm gonna head out to Austria pretty soon and you'll be able to follow that journey as well. But as always, make sure to like and subscribe so you know when more videos are dropping on our channel. I'm opening that tonight. There you go. If it's bad news, I'm opening that I'm tonight. Up, tonight is so it? a bottle of Prosecco is getting opened tonight. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's Prosecco. <laughs>